Hi everybody and welcome back to On the Scene. I'm John Bathke. We're coming to you from the South Orange Performing Arts Center. Well, when most of us look at a chair, we see it for what it is. But an artist, an artist, can see beyond the obvious and into the possibilities. That's true for the sculptor we're about to meet, who's got objects and inspiration. This looks like an interesting booth. With yeah. Betty McGeehan, it is so not the typical mm -hmm. trip to the antique right. store. I have no idea what this was used for. A cutter of some kind? I don't know. That is something unique, different. I never saw one before. She's looking for things that stand out. This is one of the weirdest chains I have ever seen in my life. I have a chemistry with this. I just love it. She is not here for decorations. The objects she chooses will take on a deeper purpose. The odds and ends end up here. They must weigh, I don't know, 100 pounds or more. It may look like, well, clutter, but in her studio, that all changes. I come look at my studio and I have a lot of stuff. And I think, whoa, you know what? I could do this. She is a sculptor using objects from juggling pins to old instruments, <laughs> even duck decoys, you name it. You're uh, taking yeah. objects that could be obsolete. Absolutely, absolutely. That someone threw out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're giving them a new life and it, a new vision. I am, and, I'm, and John, I'm not cutting them up. Each item is left intact, but built into something else, a new identity. Let's take this, for instance, which is an eel catcher. I got this in uh, Japan at a flea market. Now, I'll go around and look at this and think, hmm, you know, that would really, if I could figure out what to, I can't attach it any other way than putting something through it that might be kind of interesting. This is part engineering part art, and when you look close, it's very much about our society. This was already put together without Miss Liberty. Is she red? Her arm broke off? Darn right she's red with what's going on in the world now. While there is a social influence, the motivation these days is deeply personal. Everything on this floor used to be part of a giant sculpture. This is a picture of it. It was made after her brother died of cancer five years ago. When she beat cancer just this year, it was time to take apart the sculpture for its second chance. It's knowing that I am cured and I, I'm, it's new life for me, so why not? Over 35 years of sculpting, her pieces range from elegant to something more shocking. But the inspiration to create is the same. It's just a passion, and I, I, it's a total passion. That, and I am so happy in here. I come in in the morning, I turn on my radio, and I don't care what it's doing outside. The key, she says, is seeing possibilities in everything and understanding why she's doing this. I have to do what's in my heart. Some good advice for all of us from the heart. Now, for more on all of the artists we've met in this show, go to the Numbers and Links section of News12.com. And on the website, you can also read my blog and get the behind-the-scenes scoop on how we put this show together. Now, for all of us, I'm John Bathke, and I'll see you on the scene.